situated in South China, in the stirringly beautiful Guangxi, in Nanning, the Green City, on the Yongjiang River, the Shanxi Lake, the Longing Lake, and the Siyuan Lake, the Gratitude Lake. There is a magnificent place, a place distinguished for its natural beauty, unique architectural style, pervasive and thick cultural atmosphere, distinctive national features, and rich outlandish flavors. It is claimed by the renowned magazine Cultural Geography as the university whose campuses are endowed with the most poetic and picturesque landscape. This very university is Guangxi University for Nationalities (GXUM). GXUM, with a long history and outstanding accomplishments, is a comprehensive university committed to higher education and studies for the ethnic minority groups. Original key university in Guangxi Zhuan Autonomous Region. It is co-sponsored by State Ethnic Affairs Commission. The government of Guangxi Zhuang Autonomous Region and the National Basic Ability Construction Project of Western and Central China. What is the most enchanting about the campus? A view from about is this area of green water. The campus was flooded in 1958 when Mr. Xie Juezai, the famous legist and educator, and the then Interior Minister, was inspecting the university. He was deeply impressed with the unity, cooperation, and determination of the staff and students from all ethnic groups, who were restoring and building dams to fight against the flood. He gladly wrote a poem, leaving us the well-known sentence: "Longing for longings on the Longing Lake," hence the beautiful name for the lake, the Longing Lake, the Shangsi Lake. From then on, the Longing Lake has become a landmark. A cultural symbol for GXUM, or even for the neighboring areas. The beauty of the Longing Lake is seen everywhere. The auditorium designed by Mr. Liang Cicheng, the world-famous architect, is classically and gracefully simple. Far from matting crowd, the white stone bridge, checkered with the blue and white, lies in peace and tranquility. The wind and rain bridge. A landmark architecture stands delicate and intricate, inheriting and passing on the Dong culture. Scattering along the bank of the lake are the moon-reaching pavilion, Juezai Pavilion, and the Peninsula Pavilion. The reflections of which are slender, pretty, and charming on the lake surface. The training base building for professionals of non-common languages displays the flavors of the South Asian countries to the fullest. At present, the university boasts two campuses: that is, the Longing Lake Campus and the Siyuan Lake Campus, totaling about 330 acres. In addition, a new campus is under busy construction in Wu Meng, a newly established district about 30 kilometers away from the downtown area of Nanning City. The university enrolls students from more than 50 ethnic groups all over the country. Close to the sea, to the borderline, and to the ASEAN countries, it is endowed with enviable geographic advantages. Thus, GXUM has developed its unique way of school running, a way characterized by the trinity of nationality, regionality, and internationality. GXUM is one of the most characteristically distinctive universities in Guangxi. And in Guangxi, it is also the university enjoying the largest number of visits from state leaders. On May the 10th, 2010, Comrade Xi Jinping came to inspect the university. In the spring of 2017, Comrade Xi Jinping, General Secretary of the Communist Party of China, on his visit to Guangxi, kindly received the student representatives from GXUM. The general secretary said that he was inextricably attached to GXUM, and his visit to the university in 2010 was still fresh and vivid in his mind.
Early in the morning, birds chirp when the sunward sounds of reading arise. As dusk approaches, flowers give off aroma when singing and dancing flows everywhere. Here, nature and culture combine in harmony. Here, the distance between nationality and internationality is zero. Here, you can find the perfect place for studying and researching. The holy land for experts and scholars to teach and probe, and the source of inspirations and a paradise of literary creation for the nation famous, the Long Lake Riders. Both delicate and dignified, the moon-reaching pavilion is situated on the Longing Lake, and next to it is the monolith on which Mr. Zhang Kejia's handwriting of three Chinese characters, Xiang, Si, and Hu. The Longing Lake is inscribed. Wandering in the moon-reaching pavilion, one cannot help but experience the erotic spirit of soaring into the heaven and reaching for the moon. And meanwhile, think of the couplet: Being virtuous and erudite, seeking harmony in diversity. The university motto of GXUM: Marching into the new era, the people of GXUM never forget the original intention. They bear their mission in mind, cling on to the national emotions, inherit and develop national culture, make good use of the geographic and cultural eco environment, enrich their unique way of school running with original characteristics, construct a win-win school running pattern with an eye to opening to and cooperation with Asian countries, and never cease to be committed to the ideal of developing GXUN into a state-of-the-art university for nationalities. The conviction of GXUN converges group after group of four halves teachers, and among them, the experts, scholars, and master teachers who enjoy the international reputation are not rarely seen. This conviction cultivates generation after generation of excellent students, and the ethnic minority caters and professionals GXUN has provided for country. Especially for the ethnic minority areas, at up to 200,000 strong, among all the universities in Guangxi, GXUN has cultivated the largest number of ethnic minority caters. Currently, there are 26 schools and faculties in GXUN. GXUN has a scientific and reasonable disciplinary system, covering 11 fields of disciplines, including philosophy, economics, law, pedagogy. And literature. It has four doctor programs of the first level disciplines, which include ethnology, Chinese language and literature, foreign languages and literature, and chemical engineering and technology. Sixteen master programs of the first level disciplines, seventy nine master programs of the second level disciplines, six professional master programs, seventy seven full time bachelor programs. 24 key disciplines and ministerial and provincial levels, one center for postdoctoral studies, two scientific research bases for postdoctoral studies, and thus develops an all-covering comprehensive education system, ranging from preparatory education to the bachelor program, to master program, to doctor program, and finally to postdoctoral studies. Namely. The state level excellent courses, the ministerial level excellent video open courses, and the ministerial level excellent resource sharing courses. Up to now, GXUN has succeeded in building for and winning four major programs for the National Social Sciences Fund, towering the rest of the universities in Guangxi, which shows the GXUN is fully potential and promising in the researchers of social sciences. The philosophy and social science edition of Journal of Guangxi University for Nationalities has become the best academic journal ever sponsored by the university in Guangxi. Establishing the firm foundation of being virtuous and erudite, creating the pleasant atmosphere of seeking harmony in diversity, bearing the overall national interest in mind, and bringing the ultimate truth and ultimate beauty. To fruition are not only the core cultural values of GXUN, but also the common value orientation of the Chinese nation. Guangxi is the model of ethnic solidarity for the country. 
and it is one of the universities with the best atmosphere of unity and harmony among students from all ethnic groups. The university sticks to the practice that ethnic minority students are the major receivers of its education. In the two undergraduate programs, Chinese ethnic minority languages and literature, and ethology, as well as the preparatory courses for ethnic minority students, are totally tuition free. Staff members and students of all ethnic groups, helping each other and coexisting in harmony, form an extended, united family. As a result, GXUM has won the honorary title of the Model Collective of National Unity and Progress for the whole nation for four times. It was also awarded the title of the Education Base of National Unity and Progress for the whole nation. And the discipline group of ethnic studies has become the prioritized feature brand of the university. On the one hand, GXUM is committed to the unity and progress of all the ethnic groups in China. On the other hand, it is devoted to the friendly exchanges with the ASEAN countries. GXUM takes great efforts to carry out the development strategy of the internationalization of the university. And thus, the languages of the ASEAN countries that it offers courses of are the earliest and the most numerous among universities in China. And the number the Confucius Institutes it has set up overseas top those set up by the other universities in Guangxi. One of the distinctive results of GXUN's internationalization of school running lies in the fact that in 2015, Mr. Hun Sen, Prime Minister of the Kingdom of Cambodia. Was awarded the honorary doctorate in literature by GXUN. We seek for truth by means of being virtuous and erudite. We cultivate talents by means of being harmonious in diversity. In the recent years, GXUN has successfully and repeatedly won many honorary titles, such as National Civilized Unit, National Model Primary Level Party Organization. National University advanced in the party building and ideological and political work, civilized unit of the autonomous region, collective advanced in national unity and progress of Guangxi. One heart after another accumulates into an undulant lake, a lake of gratitude and a lake of affections. One duty after another grows into a power to till this fertile land. A land of flowery spring and fruitful autumn, and a land of fragrant peaches and aromatic plums. One title after another escalates into a legendary history, a history of inclusiveness and a history of glory. One dream after another develops into a common sam, a sam for reproduction in endless succession, and a sam for tireless efforts.